क्वेश्चन नंबर वन करेक्ट द रॉन्ग स्टेटमेंट्स राइट डाउन द करेक्टेड वंस द मून रिवॉल्व्स अराउंड द सन रॉन्ग द मून रिवॉल्व्स अराउंड द अर्थ सेकेंड वन ऑन अ फुल मून डे द मून द सन एंड द अर्थ आर पोजिशन इन दिस सिक्वेंस रॉन्ग ऑन अ फुल मून डे द सन द अर्थ एंड द मून आर पोजिशन इन दिस सिक्वेंस थर्ड वन द रिवोल्यूशनरी ऑर्बिट्स ऑफ द अर्थ एंड द मून आर इन द सेम प्लेन रॉन्ग द रिवोल्यूशनरी ऑर्बिट्स ऑफ द अर्थ एंड द मून आर नॉट इन द सेम प्लेन द मून्स रिवोल्यूशनरी ऑर्बिट मेक्स एन एंगल ऑफ अबाउट फाइव डिग्री विथ दैट ऑफ द अर्थ फोर्थ वन इन वन रिवोल्यूशन ऑफ द मून इट्स ऑर्बिट intersects the earth's orbit only once wrong in one revolution of the moon its orbit intersects the earth's orbit twice fifth one it is all right to observe a solar eclipse without protecting the eyes wrong it is necessary to view the sun disks through dark glasses or through special goggles made for that purpose otherwise the intense light of the sun can be harmful to the naked eye sixth one an annular solar eclipse occurs when the moon is in the perigee position wrong an annular solar eclipse occurs when the moon is in the apogee position question number 2 select the correct option first one is solar eclipse the answer is b second one the shape of the sun disk at the time of annular solar eclipse answer is b third one apogee position of the moon answer is a fourth one perigee position of the moon answer is c question number 3 complete the following table lunar eclipse phase of the moon is full moon day sequence is the moon the earth and the sun type of eclipse is total and partial maximum duration of total eclipse is 107 minutes solar eclipse phase of the moon is new moon day sequence is the earth the moon and the sun type of eclipse is total partial and annular maximum duration of total eclipse is 440 second question number 4 draw and label the diagrams first one is total and partial solar eclipse second one total and partial lunar eclipse question number 5 answer the following first question why do the sun the moon and the earth not lie in one and the same line on every full moon and new moon day the answer is the orbital path of the earth and that of the moon are not in the same plane the moon's revolutionary orbit makes an angle of about 5 degree with that of the earth on each new moon day the lines joining the earth and the sun and the moon make an angle of 0 degree whereas on each full moon day this angle is 180 degree so the sun the earth and the moon may not be in one straight line in the same plane on every new moon or full moon day second question when total solar eclipse occurs why is partial eclipse also seen from the earth on a new moon day if the sun the moon and the earth fall in one line and are in the same plane the shadow of the moon falls on the earth this shadow is of two types the central portion of the shadow is darker and the periphery is light in the area 
where the dark shadow falls the sun becomes completely invisible such an area experiences a total solar eclipse however during the same period at the places where the shadow is lighter the sun disk appears partially covered such an area experience partial solar eclipse thus when a total solar eclipse occurs a partial eclipse is also seen from the earth question number 3 suggest measures that can be taken to eradicate the superstitions related to the eclipses the following measures can be taken to eradicate superstitions related to eclipses use of media to create awareness parental guidance to help think logically teachers guidance to help students develop a scientific outlook campaigns public meetings and lectures especially in rural areas to eradicate superstitions question number 4 what precautions should we take while observing a solar eclipse the precautions to be taken while observing a solar eclipse are we should not observe a solar eclipse with naked eyes as the intense light of the sun can harm them we must use dark glasses or goggles that are specially designed for viewing the solar eclipse Question number 5 what types of solar eclipses will occur in perigee condition total and partial solar eclipse will occur in perigee condition total solar eclipse on a new moon day the sun the moon the earth are in a straight line and the shadow of the moon falls on the earth the area of dark shadow falls on the earth the sun becomes completely invisible this condition is known as total solar eclipse partial solar eclipse however during the same period at places where the shadow is lighter the sun disk appears partially covered this condition is described as partial solar eclipse